All right, here's what we got. Move the T62 up in this position right up here with the old uh, Baston missile. And uh, the only reason I could do that is you can see their lines of sight blocked by this uh, light urban area here on these infantry. So when he came on up through the urban areas and it popped on out, Nobody could outfire them. These ones here, these guys here might have been able to, but nope. That little corner there nailed them. So they were able to get there. Now he's going to be sitting there with a marker on him, which is fine. Because these guys here can outfire. They still don't have no marker on them yet. And as a matter of fact, if they see a target and they get, well, it gets their activation, they might be firing, but I think everybody's out of range. I did think about this cornet here, but... He's got a range of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just out of range of hitting this guy, so that was a safe move. I brought my other tanks on up here to help reinforce. So uh, my tanks are, aren't getting out of these edge positions, but if anybody comes on in, they're going to be ready for some close combat. Just throwing some anti-infantry fire at them. Uh, down here I did about the same thing, just surrounded them with tanks on either side. That'll do it for their activation. We're ready for another chip pull. But uh, that's how we're doing it. Look and see how it works. Now this old boy here, if he would have been in defensive position, he could have got that marker off him, but he's still sitting there like a big old fat turkey. Okay, how many more markers we got? We got two more. Now that is a long activation. Look at all those markers. I mean, I'm going on 10 and that's just one round and this is 30, so. Oh. Oh. Three more activations are, yeah, per unit. That's what it comes out to. It's gonna be quick. Gotta get some shooting. All right, enough of that. What we got? All right. It is uh, uh, Turkmenistan rebel forces. Or is that? No, no, that's not right. That is the uh, Russians. Uh, the pro-Russian infantry they haven't done a darn thing on game so they're back here ready to go we'll put that on a 10 marker come down here to signify that and uh we'll move them we'll be right back all right they're just gonna move up also they went their full extension six hexes and uh i was hoping it may be the old uh, tow missile would waste a shot at them but it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one hex away, out of range. So it would have been interesting. And uh, on that, I probably would have just rolled the dice to, sing, to simulate the opponent's decision. I gave certain dice certain values and rolled the dice to see if they would have shot or not. So that's probably what I'll do with that, if that ever comes up. But uh, that's their activation. That's all that's going on here. You can see, <clears throat> you got yourself in like a little dead man zone here. Nobody wants to move through. So uh, we got to assault this help these units here. Oops, there goes my sleeves again. Alright, let me press pause. We'll be right back. Alright, back for another chit draw. I think there's only one more left. Who is it? Who hasn't moved? Oh. Al Zakari? Al Zavari or whatever? I don't know, we'll see. Oh. The Al Mansur. Oh, my sword's at little 21. How do I do that? Oh, 10, 11. But these guys are already on here. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. All right, let's put them here, but we'll be picking them all up. We'll have two of them here, I guess. Signify that this one here is the one that stays at the end and we pick everybody else up. That's kind of strange. Oh, 10. 11. Alright. That here was these guys. What do they want to do? Got one. I thought I had two of those Alamont sewers. Oh, they got infantry. Alamont sewers got the tr infantry in the trucks, I guess. Oh, this is Alamont sewer too. Alamont sewer all up in here. Alright. Right down here in these other trees. 
Yeah, they're down here too. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on here. These outbound sewer guys. All right, they're gonna have to take this off first of all. One, two, trucks come out too. We're on parliament, they're all ready to go. Oh, one outbound sewers. Nothing. They're waiting. Right here, here, here. And down here. Let me see if they want to move. We'll show you what the results are. Be right back. Okay. Not too much movement. So movement, but not much. I'm going to go ahead and bring the infantry on up to this edge. And infantry do get a dice quality uh, modifier for being in the building. So I'll move those guys on up and attempt them to come up take a shot or something. Just reinforces this area here so I brought some trucks up too right next to them just in case I need a quick load and unload uh, as far as that goes the units here still on standby waiting uh, with their crosshairs anybody peeks out they're gonna hop by our, uh, these guys down here at the Ministry of Defense yeah they're gonna stay there too they're not doing nothing I thought about bringing them out to the edge but nah we'll go ahead and see if we can suck them on in that's it. We got to pick up uh, chits now. The last chit was the Alma sewer, so all these guys get picked up. Oops, command don't get picked up. Just the chits. Oh, command stays. Chit goes. Chit goes. Chit goes. Chit goes. Chit goes. Oh. And the one on ten comes up and goes two. Uh, where do I want to put that? We need these command shits over here. Almasaur is my last guy, so I'm going to pick this one up. Put all these back in a cup. Alright, Almasaur is the last man out. It's 11. How do I signify to 10? I'll put a dime on it, I guess. If I signify to run the 10s. And this is 11. All right, so I'm a sewer is the last one out. I don't think he's got any more chips in the cup, so he might be sitting there a while. And that could be bad news. All right. Ha, ha, ha. I'm a sewer sitting there. Can I replace it? Oh, no, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll go ahead and draw. There's the board. Getting interesting, real interesting. Who's going to be the next one up? This is the best game yet. I've had a bunch of good ones. This one's really good. Nobody's really doing anything. We're all kind of tiptoeing. But I don't think that's going to last for long. The Russians are up. The 696th rifle. Put them here. Now, do I want to use a command of logistics? No, nah, no logistics right now. We're all within, well within sight and sound of each other. We don't want to do that. And we do want to give these guys another push. Or do we want to wait and give another some another formation a push? 696, so that would be a good unit to keep going. Alright, we're putting in 696 back in. Or do we want to put one of these guys back in? Who do we want to get going quick? 696 is a pool. Look at that freaking hornet's nest. Look at that freaking hornet's nest. That's gonna be nuts. I need help. 696 is not going back in. Keep my command marker out. I need to bring units up. So they will activate now. And I might regret this. But they're gonna activate now. Take this off of them. This off of him. Oops. Oh, 696, yep. Take it off of him. 696, yep. Take it off of him. All ready to go up north with some action. Ha. Huh. I'm going to change that. I'm taking it off here. Put a command marker on it. Put a 696 back in. I think these guys are going to need it. We will figure out some movement and strategy. Got to sit here and uh, fire one up and check it out. We'll be right back. 
We are back in the 696 rifle. Just got done moving. They're heading down the road, and so far, so good. No, no, uh, hot fire. The, uh, um, Turkmenistan rebels didn't want to waste their tow missile on infantry, so. But if they get any closer, <laughs> they might. Uh, I'm up here, I just moved this shooter. Yeah, I was gonna move him up here, but, uh, I think he would have been right inside of that missile, so he just came in behind, still using this uh, cover of the light urban areas. And these guys, I wanted something to happen. So I went ahead and backed these guys up and unloaded. So they're unloaded now. So I forget, you know, it's one thing I'm forgetting. These guys are to go ahead and unload too. So let me get a couple more markers, because I'm out of green markers. What's going on there, flying pig? We need more markers. Okay, hold on. All right, so he will be moved, unloaded, he will be moved, unloaded, make sure I put him on the top to make sure I signify that he is off, unloaded. All right, well, that's going to be it. So, boy, here is ready for some out fire, but ain't nobody coming on within range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He comes in, I'll definitely shoot at him. So, he wants to get in on some of that action, though. No. Well, he's gonna stay there. Well, you know what, he's gonna move. Why stay there? Uh, that cover there but hey that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do in this game all right somebody's gonna pop up something's gonna happen here all right he's moving too we're getting ready all behind that cover because of those toes all right ready for another chit draw and who will go next uh, we'll be a 696 again. At that time, we'll just have to move our infantry on up. Everybody's dismounted. Oh, no way. I don't call this. I don't do this. You guys are thinking I'm cheating. Wait, hold on. Who is that? I can see better when I zoom in with the camera. It's a 696. No way. There's a bunch of freaking shits in there. All right, wait. That's the way we're going here. So putting that command marker comes in handy. You can see what happens on that one. We gotta move these boys again. And if you don't launch that tow missile at me, I'm coming in after you. Um, I'm gonna point out here also, well, no, I was gonna say they had the uh, advantage because most of these militias only got a one hex advantage, uh, one hex range, so that's different. All right. See what the six, nine, six want to do. I'll be back. Okay, well, first thing we got to do always is check for initiative, and they all are within, well, within sight and sound of each other, so everybody's good on that. Let's go ahead and take off their markers. Show that they are ready to go. They ain't messing around. These guys are hustling. They're double timing. And something is about to happen, so we'll see what's up. Plenty of green markers now. Short supply of turn to go, and plenty now. All right, I'm gonna start moving. If I get a shot, if somebody shoots, I'll let you know what's going on. Be right back. All right, here's the dilemma. My 696 coming on up. They're moving one hex, two hexes, and they can move three. If they get to this point right here, they can throw some fire on these uh, units. Uh, well, these are vehicles. They're vehicles. And they can mess them up. What are these vehicles? Got a range of four? Alright. They're just gonna shoot. 
We got a shot going on here. It's not going to be the tow missile. He's always going to have an advantage there. But it's going to be a uh, BMP shot with four four uh, dice. I don't waste that day. We can't have him shooting at us, so we'll grab four of them here. That will stop the platoon in their tracks. And uh, we'll put a marker on him. He'll get a marker. He will have had an action. And he ain't going to be his tow missile either. He's firing with his, uh, I guess, his main gun. Four hexes. Or four range hacks. I have to start off with four. Um, he's not in any good cover. Start off with four. Start off with four. Uh, they both got the same lightning bolt technology. Uh, I guess with this can't counter fire or retreat or top fire, so I think it's just four. I don't see any other modifiers. We think about this. We'll be right back. All right, I'm pretty sure that's it. Can't uh, flanking fire. Can't in intense fire. It's a four orange four going against an orange shield. So every strike is a hit. These guys look out in the open. I'm gonna give them a little pepper. And let's see what's up. One, two, three hits. That'll take him to a yellow, blue. Be two hits. Yellow, blue. Be two hits. Oops. Yellow's one hit, blue's two hits. Oh wait, hold on, there's only three hits there. One, two, three, Whew, they just survived. All right, yellow's one, blue's two. Flip him over to this. So he's taking casualties, the shot's got somebody. Hit their mark, they're shaking. But this uh, vehicle carrying that tow has done, used its, used its action. So in a way, the rifle did their job. All right, got another toe left. Bastion can't fire, he's green. All right, who's gonna move next? We'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. All right, well, the second platoon has moved on up and gave them a chance to fire, but they're holding off on that firing right there because he can't fire at them. He's only got two hexes, so second BMP is going to hold off on his, using his weaponage, using his action. Uh, next one that's coming up, I think, are going to be these infantry coming on up here. They're going to they're gonna maybe shoot at somebody. Nobody else could fire but that BMP, so they can get pretty close. If the BMP wants to waste a shot, we'll see what he wants to do. We'll be back. All right, well, the uh, rifle company is just marching on up the road. But they will be shot at now. The BMP will have to waste his uh, 
tow capability to shoot at them. All right, let's see what goes on here. Now this is a this gets a bonus on this one. All right, BMP starting out with has four dice. All right, now the thing of it is, uh, road target in the road offense plus one. So that put them guys in a little bit of a hurt. Plus one on that. This is op fire, so there can't be no uh, counter fire or retreat. And I can't have no flanking fire, so this is what we're going to pepper these infantry with. Coming on up the road like that. But they're doing their job. It's wasting that toe. So it's all a matter of uh, how you do your units. Now these units here can all come on up. And get in position. So that infantry did their job with two hits. One, two, three hits. So it'll be like their brethren. One, two, and then they'll take some casualties. There you go. That's how it's working out. This only now both of these units have been used. No more tow threat. We'll see how they respond. Be back. All right, second rifle platoon. It's gonna come on up here. They come on off the road, get themselves into some cover. We'll get a bonus on that. And they might as well fire. They got a two hex range. Firing at that top infantry uh, platoon. Let's see what we got here. They were firing with three. If a platoon's got a one, so a nine minus one. If a, if a tree platoon is in uh, cover, so it'll knock that quality down one. Let's look at their lightning bolts. Lightning bolts are both the same technology, uh, but the rifle company, our rifle platoon has moved. So there we go. Shooting in it with two greeners. Uh, the. Uh, Al Masur platoon can either retreat and make one of these a black or counter fire and make one of them a black. And a counter fire after all the modifiers might not help much because he's only got a two attack. So he'll stay there and accept it. Whatever it is. Oh, that was a good shot. Two hits. So that goes up to pin to uh Shaken. So yeah, pin to shaken. No casualties. We're from pin to shaken. All right, let's move him down here because he won't be getting any better soon. He'll be the last one to activate. That's what we got. Good shot by the 696th. Whew. All right. That is their activation. Get this out of the way. Make sure we did everything right. It looks like we did. Everybody's got the markers on them. Oh, we got these guys to be activating. These guys gonna hold oh, oh, oh. All right, it's about to get real hairy here around the presidential palace. We'll be right back. Okay, sorry about the wait. Here we go. We're gonna move him on up one. He's gonna grab his buddy, so that's one. Two, three, four. We'll go him up to five and we'll stop him here. That's a big chance with these, those nice missiles on him there. But he's going to go ahead and fire at this one of these units with these uh, toes. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll grab us some dice. Uh, let me go ahead and get this all straightened up. I'll be right back. Okay, here's how we'll calculate that on out. Fire with four dice. Let's see if we can zoom in on there. Starting out with four. Get it all on the camera. Alright. Minus his defense, which is a one. Alright. He is in an improved position. So minus another one. Let's look at the technology. Black technology, red technology. 
increases the quality by one. Alright. What else we got here? Oh. He's not in a improved position because he's a vehicle. But my boys have moved and moved their full range. Which is going to up it down at three, so it'll go down one, two, three. That hurts. Moving and firing hurts. Alright. But Both gonna fire. Where's that other missile at? What I do with that missile? Oh shoot! All right. Well, the cornet I put underneath them. All right. So what else we got going on here? He's firing at less than half range. Get up here to the old range. Close range two dice qualifier better. So we'll do that. And I got another buddy here chiming on in. Combined fire. Give me one more. And that's what it comes down to after everything's said and done. Uh, we have a red number. Firing at a gold shield. So, two strikes makes one hit. We got one hit. I don't make them. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. They can counter fire, retreat, or stay put. They don't want to increase any of these dies. Either way, they're not going no place, so. Shot while it's moving, and they moved. Oops. So he can't counter fire with that. He can't counter fire with his gun. Uh, makes that another die roll. One up. I think for, I think just for the sake of it, he's just going to stay put, so he'll suffer one hit. That'll move him to a yeller. See if there's more. What's pressure? I got two more to move. Be right back. Okay, we're back. And before I make any more moves, I just want to make an important game note about civilian losses. And any time that let me get over here to the old page. Any time these doubles come up on a die roll. That side uh, incurs civilian losses. It's the same way for counter for the defender. So uh, I know that came up at least once. I didn't really didn't keep track, so I put one mark for the Russians. We got them down here too, so we are keeping track of that. So whenever these double die rolls, and you could also uh, uh, say you're shooting them with a six, you can voluntarily go down to a black or go down to a green. If you want to cut the losses, so that's an option available to each player, because the Russian player's already got one minus one uh, victory point because he incurred Russian incurred civilian losses. So that's something to consider. Uh, we are on our way. Got to move the rest of the six ninety sixth. Be right back. All right, we got another fire com combat coming up. The other three ninety sixth, or rather the six ninety sixth up from this hex and use this full movement range over here to some uh, cultivated terrain 
We won't help him in defense, though, but he will fire at the shaken unit down here. Um, he's also got a five with the black circle, which means he's got indirect fire, which means he can shoot over obstacles. Um, I guess he's got a grenade launcher or something. He won't be doing using that right now. Um, he'll be starting off with four dice. The unit I'm shooting at has a... Oh, it's an infantry unit. So we'll have to compare attack colors to defense shield colors. But uh, he's got a one modifier. He'll also get a one die quality for being in the urban area. Uh, my man has moved all he can move, so he's going to go down two. Moving for the moving fire penalty. Let's compare technology. A red lightning bolt to black, so he'll get one upgrade for having better technology. Hold on a second. And I think that'll be it. Uh, like I said, I get two of those, uh, two of these. So let me see, what am I looking for? And that'll be a civilian casualty. So, uh, what will they do? Oh, they can retreat. And they can counterfire. But their counterfire would be so small that they had wouldn't matter so counter fires out of the it's not an option uh, uh, retreat 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 gives them better die quality but also gives them a chance to get those civilians losses too uh, what does he want to counter fire one two oh, he's out of range one two so yeah he can't counter fire all right BMP shooting. All right, he only occurs one hit. That'll be a casualty. And no civilian casualties on that one. No collateral damage. All right. One more unit left to move. Right back. Okay, the other 696 platoon of BMPs. Uh, let's see what kind of BMP that is. 3M. It's not a bad. It's not a bad unit. He's gonna fire also. He's gonna range to five. Indirect fire. One, two, three. Go after that unit. It's just got took casualties. So we will start off with. straight down here four I'll make sure you can see that minus one for a shield all right he's in cover so I'll make that a green I moved that'll make those two greens but uh, I got a red he's a black put that up to here does he want to retreat? No, he's not going to do anything to improve it. He's probably toast anyway. Can't fire back, so that's what we're going with. Oh, no fire back and no hits. Does no good. So, put a little marker on him. And that might be it for tonight. Let me go over and fly over the battlefield. See what we got going on here. Oh, this guy here needs a movement marker. So the 696 making a move on in with the assault. There we go. Oops, this a... There they are. This is the result. I got company. What you doing? What's Danny doing here? You coming? <laughs> All right. That'll be it. We got a chit draw coming up. But uh, it's getting hairy around here. You can see the results. 
these guys get activated, they got a lot of shooting that'll be doing. I have to put a logistic marker down in there too. All right, we'll see you later. I'll be back.